Hi guys, it's me, Little Lottie. I'm back to finish off my Nandru, Mizuzaki, Takahashi from Junjo Romantica review. I have already put his peg into his back, but compared to Isami's, his was not easy to get in. Oh boy. Anyways, there are four poses I'm going to be trying him out in today with the current faceplate that he has on. has two poses, so I'm going to do that. So, from what I can see on the box, his legs go that way and that way. Why oh, is she cute? And move with a little bit more of the leg. There we go. He is holding his bow. So take that one out. And this one. Here is the bow that has some fatter dice. And here are his little arm pieces. So, can they come apart? Oh, yes, they can. Well, that's good. Wait. But how do I get it in there? Ah, oh, they are. How do I get this in? No. Do I just plug it in? Ah, oh, there we go. I got it in. So that was off camera. I'm going to do that again. My arms are going off to the right for some odd reason. Okay, so by the look of it, you have to put that in. There. Like that. And then push it in and there we go and let's have a look what it looks like from the side a little bit weird and a little bit weird in there okay then so I'm going to pull this arm out no I have further I need to put the arms Oh boy, this hole is a bit, is a bit, I don't know the word, stiff maybe, is this one going to be the same? How come with some nandroids, the arms are easily able to go in? And then there are other arm pieces that don't. It's weird. This is not easy to try and do. Oh, his arm just needed to go up a bit better. And there we go. And your head looks like it slightly goes up that way. Oh, that pose is so cute. It's definitely my favourite so far. I've already put the peg on the legs. Peg stand. And there we go. Oh, they look so cute together. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Okay. Let's have a look at these. Yeah. From all the way around. When the bear is set up like that, it looks so much better. Get a bit of something on your head there. And there we go. Oh, so cute. Okay, then. Now the next part where he is posed with this faceplate is where he is holding his, if I um, can get it right, his eye device. 
my present pretending to be the mother of the bear now. So I'm like, that arm is a little bit stubborn, so I'm going to do this side first. Oh well, none of them want to break through. It's okay, you can let go. You can let go. There we go. That one's up. Oh wait, this arm does not want to go in there that well. Okay then, let's have a look. So he's got his little apron. So how does this thing go on? Oh wow, it just looks like it just sticks on. Just like that. I'll try that again. And there goes my dog. That is quite easy to do. It just clicks into place. That's really nice. You don't need like a little extra part to stick the, to stick the apron on. Okay then. Well, let's set you up with your little dish. Ah, that is so cute. Now it's ears out and hand. Although this hand feels a little bit loose, oh, it's just the fudge now anyway. And your legs go like that. Oh, this is so cute. Put you back on the bed. And there we go. That was a nice simple setup for that one. And it looks like he looks good all the way around. That's what the back of him of him. That's what he looks like from the back with his apron on. And there we go. It's a shame that he doesn't have. Let me just look around a moment. He doesn't have that detail of the ribbon going round. That would have been quite nice to have. But there we go. No. For his next face part, by the look of it, he's still holding his um you rice dish, but this is the only the only uh, I'm going with his third face part. Sorry, my brain just gets wandering off today. There's only, ah, that's what the inside looks like. There's only one pose. I can see him on the box with this face plate. So let's set him up. There we go. So by the look of it, he is holding his dish. Is it an, I don't think it's this arm piece, so take this out, take this one off, it looks like it's this arm piece, so take that one off and then put this one on. Well, I hope this is the right arm piece because the other one isn't going right with it. And yes, it is. Ta da! Okay then. And as for the other arm piece, it's the counterpart of this one. If I can grab it. And here it is.
Mm, hold on, it looks like the hemp is going into that joint. Turn it around a little bit more. And voila! It is set up. And he looks pretty good. Let's take a look at you all the way around and see how you look. The apron does look a bit weird on the back. But I did like this pose as well, it's really nice. Set him up more like that so you can see his hair. Okay then, that's that pose. By the look of it, he still has these arms for his second faceplate. So I'm going to take this. And put. I like these hand parts. They're quite cool. They kind of look like meow hands. Meow. <laughs> I don't know what term you would use with it, but I'm just going to go with the meow hands. I guess you could do that. There we go. Meow. <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're trying to go with. So, with this pose, he has his panicked facial expression. So, we can let it go. There we go. And here is his second face plate. And it is in. Okay, then. So, we'll have a look at it. Oh, gosh, that's what he looks like. No, he's a word cap. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn your legs around that way. Put your legs like that. And. Wait, how come this one's a bit. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. So, like that. Looks like his hands go around like that. There we go. And turn that one around. And there we go. Turn you around a bit there. And do I need to? No, I don't actually. And there we go. Hold on, I'm just stretching my legs out. There we go. And that is that feet. And there we go. That pose is finally done. These poses are nice and simple to do. So there he is from that way. Don't know how he's able to do that. But there you go. Maybe he has some really good balance on his feet. I mean, the really good balance overall. And he can just stand on the back of his feet like that very well. Also, I do like this pose as well. All the poses are really good that he has formally. Actually, do want to try him out in a pose myself. Ooh, extra pose, guys. Oh, like something that kind of reflects what he does in the anime. So, I'm just going to go with maybe, no, not that face plate. No, nah, not this one. Put your legs up like up, we don't want to put them up. There we go, back to normal. Hmm. I 
Hello, it's a shame because I wanted to pose him with the teddy bear with one arm, but the hands are fused together. So I'm just going to leave it there. So I'm going to try and do this. And which arm piece should I use? I'll just use the one that he came with. Turn around. Let's put the pointer down. You have that lovely touching scene where if Sammy gets him to touch his chest, is it going to work? No, his arm's just going off to the side, so I don't think it will work that well. So I'll just go in to say hi. And there we go. I did like this bit that he comes with. He's a really cute Nandrick and I think he's good for the pause when he got released but that is up to you guys. And right, that is the end of the video. So I won't be doing any other Nandroid reviews until after I've done another doll review. Until then, Nandroid fans, I shall see you in that video. Okay then, anything you two are about to say? No? Okay. Bye guys! Enjoy the rest of your day!